There's a wonderful old saying, there's no place like home. And for me, it's provided the inspiration for my entire business empire. I'm Martha Stewart. I started my first company, a catering business, right in my own kitchen. I loved the subject of homemaking and homekeeping, and I studied everything I could about that subject, turning it into one of America's most prestigious and well-known brands. It started in 1982. I wrote my first book called Entertaining, and it was a huge success. I went on to write several more books, and in 1987, I signed with Kmart to be their spokesperson and lifestyle expert. Making a good impression is critical, so remember that. I wanted to connect with an even larger audience, so in 1990, I created a deal with Time Warner, and we published my first magazine, Martha Stewart Living. Martha Stewart Living went on to sell 2.3 million copies a month. Who was on camera one that day? In less than two years, we branched out into television, and I launched my own daytime show. Look at this. Martha Stewart had become a household name. I reached a pivotal moment in my life. The tiny venture I started in my kitchen had blossomed into a successful business. But I had lost my identity being in the shadow of a huge company like Time Warner. I wanted to grow, but to do that, I knew I had to take the biggest risk of my career and step out on my own. So I borrowed $85 million, and I bought back the magazine. In 1997, we took Martha Stewart Living Omnimedia public on the New York Stock Exchange. And overnight, I became America's first female self-made billionaire. It felt really good. to success has not always been easy. Sources say Stewart's attorneys have asked the judge for probation and community service. I face incredible challenges, and I've gone through difficult times. But I learned from my experiences, and I never lost my optimism. I surround myself with creative, hard-working colleagues. Now, I want to add to my team. I'm looking for someone with big, creative ideas, possibly even one big idea. I'm looking for a team player, because that's the way we work here. I'm looking for The Apprentice. Hi. Oh, yeah. Great to see you. You too. Hi, guys. Martha, this is for the corner of the bedroom. What do you think about it? Oh, look how nice. Except Martha Stewart every day should be bigger. <laughs> This is one of the headquarters for Martha Stewart Living Omnimedia. It's spacious and full of light. It's the perfect environment in which to work and to create. I love that, don't you? It's also the same floor where the candidates will live. For the next 13 weeks, these 16 candidates will live together in an exclusive loft right down the hall from my own office. Oh, look, 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 my favorite. Look great. Yes, I want to update this one because this has been our bestseller. OK. okay. The candidates will be divided into two teams, and each week, they'll compete against one another in a task. The winning team will continue to live in their loft, but the losers will come to my conference room, where someone will be sent home. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. My name is Sean Killinger, and I'm here to see Martha Stewart. OK. If you'd like to put your backs in the corner and take a seat. Thanks so much. Thank you. For me, coming in was such an overwhelmingly emotional experience. I, it sounds entirely dorky cheesy, but I started getting tears in my eyes because I was looking around, realizing that I could soon be a part of this company, this family. This could be mine. I feel that like Martha Stewart could teach me a lot of things. Martha Stewart started a career on Wall Street just like myself, started a company in her basement just like myself, grew it into a multi-million dollar empire. I'm still working on it, but to meet her is just gonna be amazing. I really wanna work for Martha Stewart. I fit in with Martha Stewart. I I've been waiting my whole life for something like this. There's no one that wants to be here more than I do. Well, guess what? The candidates are here and they're ready to meet us. Wow. Yeah. They're in the conference room. You wanna go? Let's go. Great.
Hey. Wow. Everybody Good here? Morning. Nice to meet you, Miss Stewart. We'll see you inside it, so you'll be following us in. Morning, Martha. Good Hi. morning. Hi. Come on, this way. Well, I want to welcome all of you here today to Martha Stewart Living Omnimedia. This is a company that I founded and helped build over the last 15 years. It's hard to believe that I've been at it for 15 years, but it's exciting, it's fun, it's every day a challenge, and I think you're going to get to see that in the next few weeks. First, I'd like to introduce you to my daughter, Alexis Stewart, at my right, with Charles Koppelman, my chairman of the board, on my left. Charles and Alexis are going to accompany you on all of your tasks. They are virtually my eyes and my ears. But I just want you to understand that I will make the ultimate decision about who will stay and who will be asked to leave. Alexis, you want to say a little bit about yourself? Well, I'm here because I know my mother better than anyone. <laughs> <laughs> and I was the original apprentice, and I haven't, <laughs> I haven't been fired yet. <laughs> Charles? Well, I've spent um, a good part of my career in the music business, built and created the world's largest independent music publishing company, uh, music from Barbara Streisand to Tracy Chapman. A little over a year ago, um, I joined uh, Martha and the company, and we've been having a great time ever since. But I will say that it is an incredibly small world, Martha. Uh, Bethany, do we know each other? Yeah, I think so, we do. So did you know that I was involved with no. Martha Stewart? No. And I had no idea that you had applied for The Apprentice. So why don't you explain, Hi. Charles? Bethany's a friend of one of my daughters, and we met about 15 years ago, 16 years ago. I just want you to know, Bethany, that I've been in business my whole life, and uh, the truth is, if you're a great apprentice, you'll have the same opportunity that everyone else has to win or lose. Thank you. Thanks for saying that. Well, let's get down to business. Um, Money can't buy what you're going to learn here. In the Renaissance, a young person would buy an apprenticeship, would uh, pay a certain amount of money to an artisan or a craftsman or a famous weaver and learn that craft. There are many, many things to learn here at Martha Stewart Living on the Media. I'm looking specifically for one person to take a job in some aspect of our company and work with me very closely to create something maybe new, something maybe different, and only one of you is going to get that particular job. We don't have a boardroom at Martha Stewart Living, as Charles will attest. We have our board meetings in various conference rooms. Now, even though this is a very pleasant room, this is not a place that you're going to like to visit because every week, the losing team will be asked to come right here to this conference room and then one of you will be asked to leave. I want you to have fun, but I want you to also succeed, each and every one of you. And good luck, that's all I can say. What do you say, Lex? Good luck. Thank you. Thank Charles. you. Good luck. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. Meeting Martha this morning, it's the culmination of everything I am and everything I have worked up to to this point in my life. So working with her,